Hi, yeah, Martin here. It's uh, Saturday, day two of the Yandel Show, and really looking forward to getting going today. Uh, it's about half past nine at the moment, and there are um, people starting to uh, starting to arrive. Uh, the weather's looking an awful lot nicer than it was yesterday. So anybody who um, may have not come yesterday because of the threat of horrible weather. Um, will hopefully come today. Now I've got a couple of other demonstrations to do on some other stands today, um, which is uh, which is really really good. It's always nice to go and demonstrate on somebody else's lathe and meet their customers and stuff too. Um, and I'm very lucky to have some help on the stand today as well. So I will catch you in a bit. Right. Okay. This is a slightly more uh, impromptu demonstration to the ones that I actually have planned um, for later on today. But I'm on uh, the storage. George, I'm on the stand with uh, George Bowraker, and uh, who's interested in um, learning a tip touch about colouring. So that's what I'm going to do now: is go through how the colours work with George. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> right. Okay. So they're water-based. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Although I actually think they're more of a dye than a stain. I'll do them red, I'll do it kind of red, red and yellow. That's yeah, nice, red, nice, yellow, orange. Nice and punchy. Yeah. Um, so I won't be using any yellows at all until right. right at the end. Right. So let's start with, uh, let's start with a bit of ruby. Yeah. How accurate are the colours on the leaves? Yeah. No. They're punchy enough. Mm. <laughs> right, so get a bit on your tail. I've got to be really. I use I use spray caps. Oh right. If you're, if you're in interested. Mind. Right. Yeah. So a little yeah. bit, little bit on your um, little bit on your tail, and then find where you want to be. Uh, we'll start there. So you've got a bit of figure there, a bit yeah. of figure there. So yeah. we'll put that on in there. Of course, you have to say you've been fine. Yes. That's down to a thousand breaths. Oh yeah. Rub that. Is it too fine? Right. Yeah. I wouldn't go any more than four hundred. Right. So when you've got, you apply the colour, rub it in well. Then, yeah, rub it in as much as you can, but then feather it out. Yes, yes, yes you can. Yeah, yeah, let's put another bit on. Is it bringing the grain up a little bit? It will, it will raise yeah. the grain a touch, but that's not the problem. Yes. Put another bit in. That's all about it. Yeah. Would you use this bit? Would you sand it down finer after you've coloured it? No. No. That's ash. Yes. Ah. Yes. Right. See, I wouldn't have been that. One of the best ones to be better with. <laughs> oh, it's well, it, 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 I'm sick of them mostly. Yeah. We've got some sick of them. Yeah. Right, so that's the first colour on. We're going to blend them in, is it? And then we'll get some burnt orange and another bit of tail. Yeah, you do realise, George, you've lost your fortune in kitchen towel. I can get... I use safety towel. I get 96 rolls of kitchen towel for 24 quid. Do you? And I go through 86 rolls in six months. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a little bit of burnt orange. Wife steel them. And I'm going to start away from where I've just finished. And then push the colour back in. And then use out the green. Yes, yes, yes. 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 It's cooler in here than it is in the uh, market, so, that, so the colours aren't drying out very quickly. Another bit of towel, and we're going to go with. Um, same, same. We'll chuck a bit of flame in there now. And flame is a really lovely, fiery orange. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> a little bit more red. Yeah. Uh, and I'll stick a little bit of the ruby back in just in that bit. 
straight over. That was the one we started with. That sounded down to a dose of grit, yet you still see, yeah. because it's ash, you can still see the grain is reasonably open in there. Mm -hmm. It actually takes the colour well. So there's that. Now what you can do is you can stick an oil over the top of that. When it, when it's dry. Oil. I, use, I use a Danish. Oh right. Um, I use Danish oil, but it's got a UV filter in it. Oh right, um, which you can see there. And, and give it a good shape. For, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I won't do it because you've got to let it set for 24 hours. Oh well. right. It, it, it Before you put this on. No, you, dry you, right you, you can let that dry, then put the oil on. But you in need, 24 need to hours. Oil, the oil dry, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. So put it put it on. Let's have a look. Oh, well, in a minute. I haven't finished it. Right. See how I use um, we've got 400. Yes. Green. Green. Well, right. Okay, where we've got the figure here. Yeah. I'm going to sand out. Ah. I'm, I'm left handed, so I do stuff all a bit cash handed. So I'm going to sand out where we've got the figure. Right. Where was the other bit? Right over there. Yeah, yeah. There's a bit there. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to sand <laughs> that out a bit. Come down there. Good feather, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Nice. Right, then I'm going to get the bit of yellow, the honey. Is that the brightest yellow <coughs> in the box? Yeah, that, that is the only yellow in the box. Right. So then I'm just going to really carefully put that in. Mm -hmm. Over where I've sanded it. Mm -hmm. Highlighting there. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that works. Could you put a sealer on that? Yeah, well, yeah, we'll seal over the top of it with anything. Um, I normally use a cellulose. Yeah, I've got acrylic sanding for here. I don't have any cellulose. Ah. I'm just going to put, put a little bit more ruby in there. Rob, could you do me a favour? Um, actually, it might be easier if I do it, because I'll know roughly where it is. In my box, in a bottle like that, I've got some, got some sealer. With the spray cap, it would have settled, so it's going to look a bit yellow. Cheers, Rob. There we go. It's nice. It, it, when it dries, it goes matte and it looks a bit it looks a bit flat. But as soon as you put the um, how long does it take to dry now? Five minutes. Right. I would let them, definitely let them dry before you put um, the sealer on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's not the dangerous thing, it's the dust. What do you mean, George? It's the yeah. Yeah, dust. Yeah, I like it. I think you need uh, some wood with a nice bit of figuring on it to really yeah. hide out the colours. But well, I like it, yeah. Colours blend in together quite nicely too. Yeah. 
I wouldn't, um, I definitely wouldn't stand down with down, right. down for a thousand. Too far. Yeah. Yeah. Just come up there. Mostly you still see the green, don't you? Yeah. Why is the water based? I think that's in the work. Oh, is that? Yeah. Questions, do shout at me. <laughs> That's just building the colour up, but mostly in there. Yeah, you, you can layer it and layer it and layer yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It goes right in. That's it? it, brilliant. Cheers, Rob. Yeah. 
things coming off of that. You build it up. Yeah, two or three coats on yeah. I mean, ash, ash because it's slightly textured, ripply anyway. That just highlights it. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of tear right there.
impressed that job. Very impressed. Yeah. Yeah, lovely job. Super. Yeah, very impressed. Yeah. Thank you very much, Martin. That's no worries. Great. Thanks. I hope you um, hope you enjoy the colours. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it for this demo. I now need to go back to my own stand and do it all over again. Well, that's the end of another Yandel show. Um, I'm home now. I got home a couple of hours ago. Had an absolutely superb, superb couple of days. Um, I would have big hello to everybody um, who came by the stand maybe bought some Hampshire Sheen or the colours or whatever. I'm really grateful. Thank you very much indeed. And I hope you enjoyed the demonstrations as well. Um, they are a lot of fun to do. Slightly nerve-wracking um, um, to do it all in front of a live audience like that, but had a great time. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I want to say hello to um, Lorraine, who took home the last, uh, the last demonstration piece. So Lorraine, hello. Thank you very much indeed for watching and the rest of your family too. Um, it was great to meet you all. Um, I want to say thank you to Rob as well. Rob Hall for the donuts. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. And and to anybody who helped me out over the weekend with lumping and bumping stuff and moving bits and pieces around. So yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful. So thank you very much. Um, right. Just after this is um, a few seconds, 30 odd seconds of uh, my demo from this morning. Just to... Uh, as, as a friend of mine managed to grab a bit on the phone. So thank you very much indeed for that. Um, and I'm teaching tomorrow, Sunday. Um, I, I keep thinking today's Sunday, but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm teaching tomorrow, Sunday, and I think I may well have Monday off. So thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow, and um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye for now. Get the lace to it and then burnish it off so you take the, take the top off. We only really want the wax in the grey, so you can pull the surface wax off.